This is Talk Business and Politics with Roby Brock. I'm Roby Brock. Welcome to Talk Business and Politics Daily. It's Friday, July 29th. Let's check out today's top stories. According to the latest Talk Business and Politics Arkansas Transportation Report, traffic on the Arkansas River has improved in the first half of 2016, but the national freight industry continues to face a choppy economy and rail freight down more than 7% in the first half of the year. Tonnage shipped on the Arkansas River in the January through June period of this year totaled 5.9 million tons. That is up 33% compared to a year ago. The reason for the big boost, you may recall the major flooding on the Arkansas River that occurred last year that literally shut down the lock and dam system for weeks. On the trucking front, Fort Smith-based ArcBest posted second quarter net income of $10.2 million, almost 50% below the same quarter in 2015. While the quarter was tough, it did put ArcBest in the black following a $6 million loss in the first quarter. Officials said the industry has a mix of too many trucking companies and not enough demand. The U.S. economy crept forward in the second quarter of 2016 as consumer spending saw a slight uptick due to more Americans in the labor pool and growth in personal income. That's according to the Advanced Gross Domestic Product Estimate released Friday. That estimate of 1.2% came in well below predictions of 1.8%. Talk Business and Politics' Michael Tilly explains. All right, Roby, let's talk about ARC Best real quick. Uh, not a good quarter income. Net income was $10.2 million. Sounds like a lot, but it was down 48%, almost 49%. Uh, earnings per share was $0.39, cents, which missed the consensus estimate of $0.43 cents per share. What Arkansas Best is seeing, what ARC Best is seeing, what a lot of trucking companies are seeing out there is that there's more capacity, more people hauling, there's less freight. Freight demand is not as strong as it needs to be. And we see that with uh, some Arkansas best numbers. Their tonnage is down 3.2%. And for the first half of the year, their bill to revenue per shipment is down 4%. And what that shows you is they're, they're hauling less and they're getting paid less to haul what they are doing. On the other side, uh, first quarter, or excuse me, second quarter advance estimate for national GDP came out this morning, 1.3%, below what some thought should come in about 1.8%, still better than the 0.8% in the first quarter uh, of this year. Interesting, hiring is up. Some economists are a little puzzled. Hiring is up, but that's not a showing is translating into higher GDP growth. One revision from 2012 to 2015, I know this doesn't sound like a lot, but for that period, it was initially estimated that growth was 2.1%. They've raised that to 2.2%. So if you're looking for a little good news, there it is. The Arkansas Department of Higher Education Coordinating Board approved a new funding model for institutions of higher education on Friday. The Higher Education Productivity Funding Model follows an outcome-based approach, which will place a higher priority on program completion than the previous formula, which had a strong emphasis on enrollment. And those are your top stories of the day. You can check out a full read on those stories as well as many others that are in progress and process at our website at talkbusiness.net. We'll take a quick break and wrap up this week's Democratic Convention in Philadelphia. And we'll go inside the numbers for a look at some key earnings data. We'll also preview this weekend's Sunday broadcast TV show. We're back after this. First Security is here, only here. So that means we're here, here, and here, even here, and definitely here. Because here is where we want to be for you. First Security Bank, only in Arkansas. Arkansas's most abundant natural resource provides the core asset for Delta Timber Corporation. In addition to the sustainable yield stewardship of its well-stocked timberlands, Delta adds value by integrating its efficient wood products, manufacturing facilities, as well as through planned development of commercial and residential real estate. Delta Timber Corporation, creating value for a growing Arkansas. This past week, we've been covering the Democratic Convention in Philadelphia. Hillary Clinton making history as the first woman to receive the presidential nomination of a major political party. 
KATV's Alicia Dover has been covering the convention all week long and she provides this one final report. You can still see the remnants of the Democratic National Conventions last night, the balloons and the confetti falling all over the place as Hillary Clinton accepts the Democratic Party's nomination for president. She becomes the first woman in history to do so. Now, she talked a lot about uh, her policies. She also talked about Donald Trump, but she also commented on what it means for her to become the first woman to break this glass ceiling. Standing here as my mother's daughter and my daughter's mother, I'm so happy this day has come. I'm happy for grandmothers and little girls. I'm happy for boys and men, because when any barrier falls in America, it clears the way for everyone. Hillary Clinton and her running mate Tim Kaine are moving on to a rally in Philadelphia. And then I'm told by the campaign, they go straight to Nebraska to start campaigning for the general election. Each day, the promise of our nation begins again. Arkansas and America moving forward. I help make that promise a reality. It's not for everyone, but people everywhere depend on us. Trucking delivers or everything stops. And that's what drives me. As Arkansas's population grows, so do our energy demands. But with the right mix of resources, reliable, affordable power will always be a reality. These resources are all around us, in our rivers, blowing through our trees, even right below our feet. The answer isn't focusing on one resource, it's embracing them all. The electric cooperatives of Arkansas know that a balanced approach to power builds our communities and powers our dreams. Visit themixmatters.com and see why there's power in knowledge. While a big subject this week and last week has been politics, there's been a lot happening in business circles. First and foremost, we're in the midst of the second quarter earnings period. Let's go inside the numbers for a little bit more information here. $500 million, that's the investment that Southwestern Energy says it's going to put back into its capital expenditure campaign, even though it lost more than that in its most recent quarter. Why is that important? Well, not all of that $500 million will be invested in Arkansas, but a chunk of it will. And that means that Southwestern Energy is expected to rehire many of the 600 workers in Arkansas that it laid off earlier this year after its operations in the Fayetteville Shale Play downsized. We're going to keep our eyes on developments. Another number for you, 28%. That's the level of growth Home Bank shares, the parent company to Centennial Bank, had in its second quarter profit of $43.5 million. The banking group said organic loan growth was a key factor in the record quarter, and for the record, it's the 21st consecutive profitable quarter for home bank shares. That's more than five years running. $77.02. Don't look now, but El Dorado-based Murphy USA, the retail store spinoff of Murphy Oil Corporation, has hit a 52-week stock high. Last week, Murphy USA topped $77 a share. It's been trending upwards since early May after its last earnings report. Investors pretty bullish on the rapidly expanding convenience store operator. You can read more on these companies and their financials from our stellar daily reporting at talkbusiness.net. When we come back, a preview of Sunday's TV program. I'm Roby Brock. This is Talk Business and Politics Daily. Circuits turn on the lights by making a connection, by closing the loop. At Entergy, we believe our economy is circular too. What you put in comes back. So we invest billions in new infrastructure, which helps attract new industry, which helps create new jobs. We partner with local communities to electrify the economy. And together, we power life. Entergy. At Deltic Timber Corporation, we believe in the responsible creation of communities, in the development of neighborhoods that bring convenience and comfort to life, 
while respecting the beauty and delicacy of nature. Like the harmonious balance of environment and expansion found in the thriving communities of Chenal Valley and Chenal Downs in Little Rock and Red Oak Ridge in Hot Springs. Because the best communities in the natural state are the ones that help keep it that way. On Sundays at 9.30 a.m. in Central Arkansas on KATV Channel 7 and 10 a.m. on KAIT's NBC affiliate in Northeast Arkansas, you can catch Talk Business and Politics weekly broadcast program. Here's a preview of who and what is on this week's show. The presidential conventions are in the books. Donald Trump, the official Republican nominee. Hillary Clinton, the Democrats' top choice. What were some of their defining words from Cleveland and Philadelphia? We'll explore. In our Talk Politics Roundtable, Jessica deloach Sabin and John Burris, which candidate heads into the fall with a lead? What will define the presidential race, and what should we watch for from now until November? We'll also go inside the numbers for a look at three key business milestones, and more on computer coding. How will a new Arkansas Academy change the workforce. So be sure to tune in to KATV Channel 7 in Central Arkansas at 9.30 on Sunday morning and 10 a.m. on KAIT's NBC affiliate in Northeast Arkansas to catch those interviews and more. That's all for this edition of Talk Business and Politics Daily. Don't forget to check out the latest news on our website at talkbusiness.net. Follow us on Twitter at TB Arkansas or on Facebook or LinkedIn. You can download our podcast through the iTunes Store or through Stitcher. Just plug in Talk Business and Politics to find us and follow. Also, if you want to receive our daily email newsletters, they're free, and you can receive them every morning in your inbox before 7 a.m. Just email me at roby at talkbusiness.net, and I'll sign you up. I'm Roby Brock. We'll see you this Sunday, and we'll be back here on Monday with John Brummett and a whole new week of guests on Talk Business and Politics Daily. Until then, take care.